when you start talking to people, there is like, you got to think about it like this. There is a mountain range of reasons why people are going to work with you, okay? There are so many things when you're going through and you're doing these calls that might be problems, okay? There's maybe some things they're doing financially well, right? Like that guy was making $140,000 a year. Hey, that's sort of financially good, okay? That's sort of financially good. But he's got a lot of credit card debt. That's not good. Or he's got nothing saved for retirement. That's not good, right? Um, okay, maybe he put, you know, what, like he might be doing many good things and many bad things. But your job is to only talk about the bad things. Like when you go to the dentist, does the dentist say, wow, you've got stunning hair, right? Oh my gosh, you've got the best fingernails I've ever seen. Those cuticles, do you use cuticle cream? What type of cuticle cream do you use, right? They're not going to talk to you about that. The dentist is there to find that nasty little place in your mouth, that one little thing that's a problem and stomp on it, okay? So your job as a financial coach is to find the financial pain and stomp on it. Right? And so once you make a diagnosis and you go through and you say, well, look, remember I said, don't use coaching, don't use program, don't use training. Yeah, I mean, and by the way, if they're crying, you're doing it right. If they cry, you're doing it right.